Hey everybody, welcome back to more Moons of Madness. I am Disturbing Puppets, so we are going to continue from where we left off last time. I feel like we're getting close to the end of the game, but I'm not sure. It might just be one of those false fake-out endings. So this has been our uh, creepy Halloween-y game of October. I'm kind of playing through. I'm not sure how much longer it's going to take to finish it up. Said it feels like it's getting close to an end, but I'm not sure. Things are definitely progressing. So we found out that uh, in the last one, one of my crewmates is a serial killer, uh, and we're all sort of being blackmailed. Um, my mother, apparently, is some kind of genius quantum physicist mathematician or something who figured out interdimensional gateways or something. Um, we have alien ruins on Mars, including Cthulhu statues, and that's what we're actually here studying. And now we are all the way down using the CEO's uh, ID card and security clearance. We're all the way down to the very bottom of the base where bad things have been happening. Well, I mean, communing with tentacly monsters and stuff, basically. The moon's gravity pulls so strangely. It tugs at the tides of the mind. It pulls the planet apart. Do you feel it? I still think that's my mom. <laughs> I know it's not supposed to be, but I feel like it's my money. Yeah, here's your problem. Tentacles. Tentacles and tentacle monsters. Yeah, there were other people in the lab, um, kind of in the sub-basement. It seemed like only one of the doctors who's currently on the base had access to it, but then we found records of other people being down there, and one of them had turned into a tentacle monster. So we have a forklift. So these are kind of burrowing out tunnels and things down here. Automated rover kind of things. Okay, something tried to grab me. Just keep moving. I just wanted to stop and listen to the commentary, but something's trying to grab me. Let's take a look over the edge, shall we? Okay, more excavation. So look for a command center popped up really quick and then went away. Like R2D2 right there. Space garbage. Please await. Make the response. What are they keeping here? Explore the mysterious office. Alright. Well, we've got a computer terminal. A Richie meeting room. New Eden. Orochi is planning on building a city here. A failsafe. There is no escape. The dream will consume them. They are inevitable. Yep, found tentacle monsters. Let's send a bunch of people there. That sounds like a great idea. Future camera. Alright. What's that? So the Lord God banished him from the Garden of Eden to work the ground from which he had been taken. So the Lord God banished him from the Garden of Eden to work the ground from which he had been taken. Genesis 3.23 Okay. So the head of a Richie thinks that tentacle monsters equal angels in the Garden of Eden or something. Why are the heads of corporations always insane? Well, I mean, I should probably 
Is Jeff Bezos insane? Probably. All right, we have something here. Communicating with the Dreamer requires a sensory-deprived environment, even for you. Use these settings. Lighting 20, sound 100, numbing 100. Use last. So it's some kind of puzzle to figure out for sensory deprivation. Sensory deprivation required to communicate with subjects. Uh, I'm assuming something bad's going to open up. We have a tentacle monster directly out here. And Project Eclipse. Subject status stasis or activated. Enter activation code for Project Eclipse Phase 2. Warning, all employees should evacuate upon Phase 2 initiation. Emergency unlock protocol will take effect immediately. All right, let's check out the computer. Board meeting, 512. Meeting at 512? That's oddly specific. Probably password or something. The CEO of Orochi was here. It makes no sense. On Earth, more. That which cannot sound. Well, let's try... I can't go left to go to zero. Fine. Okay, it's not 512. Um, can't leave the first one blank. Could it be potentially 17? Or, oh. 1712? Like military time? For 5 p.m. Okay. I can't just enter 512. There's no punctuation. Well, actually, I think I can skip here. Okay, thought that would work. So the only other thing that comes to mind, even though it doesn't make quite as much sense, would be to do it this way. Oh. Is there anything else here? It's probably a four-letter word. I should look around for some clues. Okay, maybe I just have part of it. 512. I mean, we do have Eden, of course. There's the quote about Eden, so I guess we could try Eden. Let's see. There we go. An emergency failsafe if Project Eclipse is released. If I can lower the shield, I can get out of this room. Okay, Project Eclipse. Status quarantine. Blastars active. Magnetic stasis field online. Last update, July 13th, 2063. The fragment has become agitated. The workers are unable to resist its communications. They scratch at the walls, run through the complex, reduced to a wild animalistic frenzy. I was able to close the chamber and enact the highest protocols, but I can hear the echoes ring in my ears. I see the crew of the Cyrano. I've never seen them before, but I know who they are with all my being, and they stare through cracked helmets, the filth reaching out towards me. I can't stay here. Eclipse has been shuttered. I've activated the proper protocols. I doubt they will be enough. Doors will automatically unlock in the event that subjects of Project Eclipse is released. Okay, Project Symmetry. The rush is upon you. You don't get to be the same person after they get in. So the numbing agent used in Project Eclipse to keep the fragment under control is created from the strange metal powering machines in the ancient ruins. Since the active mechanism for sedation is poorly understood, we've taken the precaution of stockpiling a large amount of the metal on board the Invictus. In the event of an emergency, the Invictus can be launched. A 
The self-guiding rocket has been attached to the payload. It can be triggered with a code phrase once the Invictus safely clears the atmosphere. Communication specialist Delplore was tasked with loading the payload and setting up the detonation trigger. Due to the sensitivity of the operation and his location at the off-site communication disk, he's considered the operative with the most chance of success in case of a catastrophic event. He alone knows the trigger word and will use it at his discretion. Okay, so if everything goes wrong, he had some kind of failsafe. I didn't know any about any of this stuff. Emergency protocol. Father, the Cyrano has crashed. Something happened, an EMP? We could not analyze it in time. The filth has reacted violently and unpredictably, spreading like a cancer across the entire base. The Dreamer fragment has sent the workers into a panic, searching for a way to escape. The security system has been triggered. The entire base has been compromised. I've shut down Project Eclipse. An emergency kill signal has been sent to shut down communication via Angelus. We will leave no trace. Semper Service Control. Cyrano Location Report. Location at the time of the incident, Cyrano 312. Satellite Cyrano. Element set, inclination. It's just atmospheric, like, uh, trajectory stuff for orbit, I think. Decay rate. Yeah, just orbit information, I guess. I hope I don't need to know this stuff. <laughs> the Immortal Engine. Father, as you know, we owe a great debt to the work of Dr. Cynthia Newhart, my mommy. The site was chosen based on her later work, notes and research kept under the strictest clearance. While her exhaustive library of equations and scrawled symbology has been daunting, our analysis still continues to see results, most recently in the acquisition of two recent items. You are already aware of the fragment of a dreamer, which we recovered. Research continues into the significance of this fragment and how it tries to communicate. Using the magnetic energy signatures first recorded by Amundsen's expedition in Antarctica, we are able to triangulate the location within kilometers. Through excavation of Site 9, the team is excited to announce that we've uncovered an actual Gaia engine on Mars. Further exploration in the chamber containing the engine has been halted, and we defer to your judgment. We await your determination. Okay. Unauthorized message. Intercepted unauthorized video transmission. Pounding. Muffled talking. This is Trevor Graham, commander of the Cyrano. An EMP fright our systems, and we are currently hurtling towards Mars at approximately 50 meters per second. Fuck protocol, fuck our Ruchi. It wasn't hours after they sent us the coordinates, and I could see it in everyone's eyes. Dr. Baduri drew the short straw while the heat-resistant shield controls malfunctioned. We're not equipped for a mission like this. Command knew it. It's a fucking support crew. We follow a procedure. After 20 minutes, he stopped responding to comms. We tried to reel him in, but his face... When he turned, his entire mask was covered in blackness, just a spider webbing of black oil across the entire thing and leaking out into the void. It cracked straight through the fucking helmet. Costanza grabbed his arm and that shit. It crawled up her suit, wrapped around, squeezed itself inside. The pounding increases in volume. The pounding? The airlock. I couldn't let them back in. The infection. Just being near it made by Temple C. They're all infected. Doesn't matter, though. The fucking hatch won't close. Any time now, we're going to burst apart and rain down in pieces on the Martian desert. Pierce and Vogel are lucky. They're still asleep in the pods, won't feel a thing. I'm taking it down with me, all of it. This is the Cyrano. I'm about to enter the Martian atmosphere on a secret mission to help stake a claim. They don't care about the lives they lose to do it. You hear me, Orochi? The whole world's going to see this thing. The whole fucking world will know. End transmission. I'm getting out of here. I wonder if those consoles have anything to do with Project Eclipse. Well, yeah. But um, I think it's a really bad idea. <laughs> uh, you want to commune with some horrible, nasty thing? I think that's a really bad idea. Space 2. Alright, so we have lighting 20, sound 100, numbing 100. Use something first. Uh, if I can even see that sound. Let's see numbing agent, and I can see light controls. Okay, use that one last. So push the other ones. I'm not sure what this is. Window shutters. Okay, maybe we'll do that last. Lighting's at 100, sound at 10, numbing agent at 0, so 
Lighting needs to come down. Sound and numbing need to go way up. Okay, so this is... There. Let's just try what's on the thingy. Now that put it to 107. I'm not sure if it has to be exactly 100 or 100 or more than 100 is fine. Or is it the other way around? With the white ones should be pushed. Let's try that and see if that's 100. So that puts it at zero, so let's try that. And then these two. Nope, that's way too low. Alright, we'll go with the first, 107. Okay, sound needs to be 100. Okay, there's two bars. So that puts me over. Let's try this. Soundscape's still too high. They're just both at three, probably. I don't know. up for that. Is that going? One. It's way off. Gotta get it to exactly a hundred. Maybe when I adjust the lighting it'll change, but I don't know. That's light. Light's got to be down to 20. Okay, that gets the rest of this sort of set sound. We go up. There we go. So 20, 100, 100. Window shutters. Use the last. I should do these other ones first. No, what the hell is that thing? Yeah, I don't know. I thought it'd be more Cthulhu looking or something, but uh, alright. So this is all set. What am I supposed to be doing? Find a way out, activate Project Eclipse. I don't think I want to activate Project Eclipse. Um, I think that's a really bad idea. Subject stasis, subject status, stasis. Enter activation code for Project Eclipse Phase 2. Uh, 
Um, I mean, it even says employees should evacuate upon phase two initialization. Um, enter activation code. That might be connected to the 512 thing we saw? I'm not sure. There's also potentially maybe even this particular 323 from Genesis. Let me take a look down here just real quick. So anything, any notes? Not that I can see, door is locked. So we have 323 and we have 512. Try 512. That's it. Brilliance, yes. Let it connect. Well, it's awake and not very happy. Was I supposed to run out of there as soon as it went? I kind of wanted to see what was happening. Oh, okay. Let's go to the door. Our family therapist's office. I can still smell the musty leather sofa in the corner. My parents took me here when I started having night terrors. I understand that some might consider my behavior obsessive. Yes. We may not agree on the finer points. But I can't let it go on any longer. Not like this. My father. He always used to say, Cynthia, your brain has its own mouth, and all it does is devour books. I was insatiable. I learned to see data where no one had thought to look. Consume me. Strip me of my accolades. That it would affect my son. I can't keep doing this. Second mouth in my head. It just keeps eating. It will never stop. I I know how that sounds. I was looking this way because it sounded like the sound was coming from this direction. That's why I kind of ended up looking that way. Moon lights. Uh, something here. All right, week one. New patient, Shane Newhart, seven-year-old male with Mother Cynthia, reporting night terrors of the complex, complex hallucinations. He claims to remember every detail. Mother encouraged him to describe the terror, and so he did. It is made of vines, tendrils, and teeth. He emphasized the teeth with human hands and face. The vines emerge from every shadow and fill the room, twining upon themselves, eventually crushing him to the bed. All the space that remains is a small dark tunnel through which the creature stares at him from across the room, and you can see it through his eyelids and its face inches closer, minute by minute, but his mom always wakes him up before the teeth. S became extremely distraught, and the rest of the session was spent consoling him. For any chance to develop a rapport with him, I'll need to see them separately for several sessions. Call C to set up a time next week to discuss home life, school performance, her concerns, etc. Week three, Shane's GP ruled out physiological causes for night terrors. It must be related to anxiety, a lot of tension in the Newhart house. S may be genetically predisposed. Today he showed me the handheld chess game he plays during recess. Smart kid, but needs help with his confidence. Meanwhile, Cynthia remains a challenge. She answered my questions about S, it's me being Shane, uh, but was reluctant to talk about herself. Instead, insisted I wouldn't understand. As I encouraged her to give me a chance, she succumbed to a disassociative episode where she talked about at length once it passed. She called it seeing through the eyes of elsewhere. We'll have to revisit this next week. I convinced her to see me as a patient. 
Okay, I'm just checking. I don't have a flashlight. I don't have my monitor. Nice old photos. Uh, this is probably, yeah, this is booked by my mom. Engineering Dimensions. Seminal work. The one that solidified her reputation and reinvented the field of quantum engineering. The ability to harness dimensional shifts. Equations to predict fluctuations in time. Not just on the subatomic level. She was a genius. Feels like so long ago. With her breakout book, Engineering Dimensions, celebrated theoretical mathematician Dr. Cynthia Newhart completely changed the postgraduate study of mathematics. This beautiful new edition of Engineering Dimensions has been formatted for teaching and features a new foreword from the author, chapter discussion questions, and an extended index for easy reference. Okay, I can't open it or read it. Let's just flip the book over, and that's it. It was kind of a weird thing with a rocket ship that I sort of played with in the base at the very beginning, which I thought was kind of an odd thing, but it seems like a rocket ship there. I don't see anything else I can interact with as we go through the mystery door. Uh, can anyone tell me how to access the space between dreams? It's like a class on how to access the space between dreams. Okay. Um, breezy. <laughs> Answer. Soon try, Gloria. However, while the roads of Agartha do traverse the vastness of time and space, the corridors between dreams are a separate sort of passageway, and the two only intersect in very rare places. Wrong. The doors of light. The fabled roads of Agartha are said to be able to take one throughout space time. It's another book. What if this is just nonsensical math? I do have the overlapping two circles like I have the scar on my hand. So from the critically acclaimed author of Engineering Dimensions and Wandering in Time, Space Between the Walls of Sleep. She just got nuttier as time went by. That's very cutting edge, Adam. And while the full answer to that is quite complex, that is still incorrect. Answer the doors of the universe, wormholes, and event horizons all alter after? Offer the possibility to go to impossible places. There are other ones. I don't see any. What a distinctive answer, Rupert. That is an interesting theological paradox, but it is wrong. I have seen God and it is terrible. <laughs> the gates of heaven. God holds the keys to the doors of the entire universe and by his grace are allowed to enter. Correct. Very good. The answer is the dreaming ones. The dreaming ones were, the dreaming ones are, the dreaming ones shall be. Not in the spaces we know, but between. They walk serene and primal. 
undimensioned and to us unseen. They can teach us deep knowledge, secrets past the skin of eternity. It's like the old ones are are something and shall be, are, were, and shall be, not in the spaces we know in between. So the dreaming ones, connection to the dream. The dreamlands of H.P. Lovecraft. Okay, I guess it's time to go. Well, that's not good. researching. I've been accused of isolating myself. I, I merely am who I am and have always been an isolate. Isolated by knowledge. Imagine discovering a dictionary of new words to describe the universe. Words that no one else could ever know. The promise of limitless knowledge to an insatiable mind. Is it any surprise I struggle with domesticity? But... I had to make a choice. I'm sealing it away. I have to try. Shane is my universe. Okay. Let's check out some more reports on Mom. So we saw week one and week three. Week 14. Patient functioning continues to fluctuate. She is managing to find relief from auditory hallucinations by isolating herself in basement. Symptoms waned enough to attend session today. Washed hair in basement utility sink, apparently. So this kind of connects to the flashback memory dream thing we had where we were kind of wandering around in the basement of our old house where Mom had a copy of the Necronomicon. All right. Manages to take care of Shane during disassociative periods. C trailed off into almost nonsensical babble, claims to have had a lot on her mind with the upcoming publication of latest book and is not concerned. Not my first patient with such challenges, but for some reason I feel out of my depth here. Thinking about referring her to someone else. Increased dosage in the meantime. Shane is apparently doing well with support from his school's counselor. I'm sure he's glad to have his Thursday afternoons back. So I'm done, but mom's crazy and still needs counseling. I'm just seeing freaky plant monsters. After the seizure started, she tried for a while. We were really close the summer she left her tenure, but I could tell she was restless. Wouldn't stop writing. She'd snap at the smallest things. The book sold really well, though. Popular with the pseudoscience crowd. Wondering in time. Hard to see. Wonder, wander, whimper. I don't know why it doesn't actually give me the chance to actually like get the text of this, because it's actually kind of hard to see because of the glare. How can the human mind access the moment between moments, the space between spaces? If we depend on the other to recognize ourselves, what of ourselves would we perceive if we met what lies beyond? These questions are not something different, not as different as they seem. To answer them, we must first relearn how to see as I have through the universal language of mathematics. The gift is hidden within the angles. Come wander with me. It just reminds me of Hounds of the Tyndall. It's coming at you from weird angles. Uh, unusual, non-Euclidean geometry, that kind of thing. Uh, don't join Dr. Cynthia Newhart, revolutionary theoretical mathematician, turned philosopher on her tireless mission to push beyond the outer limits of human knowledge and learn how she balances her thriving career with the demands of motherhood. I don't think it's thrilling. Uh, thrilling career. Groundbreaking, comprehensive, heartfelt. At last, the elusive Dr. Newhart addresses our burning questions about her private life. Thanks to editor G. Alexander. I mean, I still have my wrist thingy. You can see it there, but I can't call it up or use it to scan. I don't think anything changed. It's still, yeah, week 14. Rocket ship's still there. Let's see anything else we can interact with. Uh, 
Well, there's the Necronomicon from the basement. The little shrine we saw with the uh, flashback dream thing. My vision's getting all fuzzy. I'm not sure I want to pick this up. <laughs> Once you open the book, it's already too late. It's always too late. You didn't open it. They've approached me several times. They knew about the Red Planet. Twins. They suspected a great many other things, but they kept their cards close to their chest. As did I. Shane saw inside the book. Just a glance, and it was enough. They can never know. It would do anything to pull him into their fold. And that's why, Doctor, if I found out that Orochi approached you, and you told them what I've said, you'll find out just how dedicated a mother I am. Yo, 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 um, la, la, sa, ya, ha. Now, were you curious about the dreaming ones? Okay. Yeah, things are getting worse. Got another book by Mommy. Week 31. It has been some weeks since I transferred Cynthia's care to a more experienced clinician. I can't stop thinking about her final session, even though my notes are sparse and the details hazy. Ever since, there's been a gnawing at the back of my consciousness, a deep anxiety I can't shake. I find myself jolting awake after mere minutes, or falling to sleep, failing to sleep entirely. I know something is watching. I see it flickering in my periphery. It slithers in the split between seconds. It thinks I don't see, but if I take the dreams for myself, it will tell them. That doesn't make any sense. It thinks I don't see, but if I take the dreams for myself, it will tell them. I will have to suspend my practice until I figure out what it wants. Blood, it always wants blood. You know, keep a wall in your basement wet with fresh blood. That's a Johnny the Homicidal Maniac reference for anybody out there. All right, spaces between the walls of sleep. Gone. I don't want to remember her like this. From critically acclaimed author of Engineering Dimensions and Wandering in Time, Spaces Between the Walls of Sleep. What lies on the other side of dreams? Where do thought and space meet? Beyond interdimensional theory, beyond the communal subconscious, beyond the fabled roads of Agartha, the acclaimed mathematician and author Dr. Cynthia Newhart takes the reader to a place where quantum science and myth intersect. With painstaking research, space between the walls of sleep makes the impossible not only possible, but within reach. The book is an absolute game changer. Newhart fearlessly puts everything on the line to tackle subjects that others of her name and credential would not dare to touch, and it all pays back with tremendous dividends. The book will broaden your perception from the shape of the universe to that of your daily life. Some other author. Bought on clearance for 290. <laughs> Alright, I think we're good. This looks like Mars. There's the freaky things. Yeah, back off. Mr. Peaky. Where am I going? doing this they cannot awaken the moons bend above us it is all but a brilliant equation please I need you 
to help me. I thought I am. I was. I will. God damn it, who are you? Yeah, totally my mom. Shane. <laughs> I'm sorry, Shane. I've made so many mistakes. You were never supposed to be here. Mom? Mom? Why are you... How did you get here? My curiosity led me here. The pages of the Necronomicon revealed a mathematics I had never encountered, and a pathway to the dream world. I didn't know that once I made the choice, I could never return. The decision has weighed on me ever since. Wait on you? Do you have any idea what that did to us? To Dad? When you left, it broke him. We searched for you for years. Shane, please, listen. Has it been you this whole time? In the base, haunting the crew? Driving us crazy with these nightmares? Stop! The struggle tears at my soul. It takes every ounce of concentration I have to remain here. I need your help, son. We must act quickly. When the ship passed between the moons, the twin dreamers were disturbed in their slumber. All the chaos you've witnessed, the filth, that creeping horror is only a fraction of the destruction that it can bring. If they corrupt the engine, the moons of Mars, the dreaming ones will awaken, and they will devour all of reality. You left me. You left us for a delusion. What the fuck do you care about reality? Reality is where my son lives. Not where mom lives, though. What do I need to do? Find the Gaia engine. I will help you do what must be done. Help me, Shane. Help me undo what has been set in motion. Please don't leave again. Don't worry. We'll solve this. Together. Now, it could really be my mom, or it could be the witch thing taking the shape of my mom using access to my dreams and memories. But I think it probably is my mom, or part of it is my mom. There were a lot of things from a long time ago, um, when we were in the dream realm before, that kind of made it seem like whoever that witch person was had come from some time in the past and had accessed the kind of space between worlds and the dreaming and that kind of thing. So maybe my mom is part of it. Maybe time doesn't really matter from there. So, yeah, I don't know. Is it really my mom or just using my mom? <laughs> we have Fatang, Kufatagu, Fatagan, Chisog, and Naya. <laughs> um... Just go with the top one, I guess. I don't know. I just had an achievement pop up that said two thirds. I thought I was close to the end, but maybe I'm only uh, about two thirds of the way through the game. If that's the case, there's still quite a bit to go because this second section is pretty long. Maybe it didn't matter which one I pressed there, I don't know. Uh, oh, oh, shit! Shane. Shane? Declan! Sorry, uh, I, uh, I don't know what happened. Uh, there's so much more down there, Declan. Clones, mind control, the dreamers, the dreaming ones. Declan, we have to find the Gaia engine. It's the only thing holding them back. Everything, the the filth, the, the nightmares, my, my hallucinations, they're connected. We need to find the engine. Okay, okay, okay. Shane, slow down. We're inside. You need to get here as soon as possible. Hell if I'm staying here. We have to find it. Okay, okay. We'll find this machine. Because as much as I don't have any idea what you're talking about, it makes more fucking sense than anything else that's happened today. All right. So we have... Go to Icarus... That's done, right? Where do we want to Icarus? 
Go to the Cyrano crash site, pilot the Meerkat. And we're back in the base. Okay, I know where we are. So that was just the elevator. Back up. Can I go to a different level? No, okay. Okay, that's locked. Pretty sure this is all stuff we've read before. Yeah. Don't expect any of that to be new. I've already read all that stuff. Nothing should be new. That's locked. That's open. Um, that looks disturbingly like a bunch of people lying together in a pile. Angry tentacles. All right, we need to get out of here. Okay, I'm not sure how close the meerkat is to us. Do I want to look around? I feel like probably this is the only place I can go. Yeah, that's blocked off. Let me take a quick look down here. I don't think anything is going to change. Now that's a problem. Yeah, and that's locked. All right, there's just the one way. Yeah, at this point I'm kind of like, yep, yeah, just get through the hallway, it's totally fine. These tentacles, oh yeah, they're, they're fine, they've been there, it's not a big deal. Let's top up air before we go. Keep checking this, but there's never anything in here to use or interact with. So I'm just going to try to hit, hook up with Declan and the uh, can't remember the name Wilcox, I think, the person in charge of the base. Going to the crash site. I don't think. I think they were at the crash site and then found the ruins, or they found the ruins on the way to the crash site. I'm not 100% sure. at the door now it's massive yeah these stone carvings must be thousands of years old the records of excavation you found in Argus this must be the place I'll meet you inside well didn't look like the gate was open oxygen is good
So there's their rover. What am I looking at? Find a way to open the gate. Solve the alien orb. Um, okay. A machine that manipulates gravity. Okay. Okay, I can rotate stuff, but I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing exactly. Just fitting everything together? That's everything. So I can rotate the top one by itself, the top and bottom, or all three. I'm trying to look at ways it might. I mean, that. No. That potentially works on the bottom. Yeah, not sure I really want to go in there, but okay. It's open. Let me take a quick look. It's looking for crazy writing. It's pretty cool looking. If they're in here, Incredible. shut behind them. Is it going to shut behind me? And then how do you get out? I wonder if I have to worry about oxygen. I'm already at 79%. There should be some refills in here, I would hope. The murals are so well preserved. I didn't even notice. I came here to learn from the ancients, travelers at the nexus of the dream world. The Gaia engine they discovered, that immaculate machine spans both dimensions. It powered their entire civilization, gave them pure vision, sight through time, knowledge unencumbered. And with all the good that intense light and power brings, there is always someone or something that wants to claim it for their own. I craved it. The knowledge consumed me. And I learned and I saw. Well, that's not good. That might be the two circles there. Might be supposed to be uh, Phobos and Deimos. Maybe that's what the scarring on my hand and the thing on the Necronomicon and stuff is too. The Phobos, Deimos, the Dreamers. That's not good. <laughs> Cockroach Cthulhu here. These murals, Shane. It's a warning they left here long ago. 
If we let the Phils take over the Gaia engine, the universe is left to the whims of ancient beings awakening from a million years slumber. You and I, we are the final guardians. We must repair what has been broken. Reality will cease to exist. Oxygen levels getting a bit low. There's something under the ground here. It's, it's shifting through the sand. Get off the sand, Declan. Declan! Holy shit! Keep moving! Keep fucking moving! Get the fuck out of there! Run! I'm not gonna make it. Oh shit, 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 shit! I got gotcha. you. Move. I'm going to hold them off. What was what? Dozy. Declan? Get back to the rover, Newhart. There's nothing you can do here. Hell no. I can help. I know what we need to do. It's everywhere. Which Commander Wilcox? I haven't actually seen any other living people who weren't, like, horribly corrupted, anyway. Can't go that way. Fine. Let's not get too close to the edge, just in case. The engine! That must be it! It doesn't, look, it doesn't look like any engine I've ever seen. I'm coming! Hold on! What is this place? They found it! They found the engine! Cross the threshold. You must reach them. They were really here. Wouldn't the doors and stuff already be open? I feel like my mom's lying to me and using me. That way, okay. Nice little statue, alright. It's like a head with too many eyes and teeth. forever open, never blinking until they crack like eggs and reappear. Declan, snap out of it! Here, take this. Uh, what am I supposed to do with it? Declan's losing it. It's another one of these kind of Egyptian Cthulhu-headed things. Heads are a little too big. Otherwise, pretty cool. Okay, so there's something under the sand. Oh, I've got sand here. Oh, something's coming for the light. I don't like it. What the hell is that thing? Okay. Um, wonderful. some time to wander off and I'll get some extra oxygen. There might be a running from rock to rock maybe here, I don't know. Oh, 
was like, can I stay up here? Nope, not an option. All right. I mean, I definitely hear something. The moving. sand is shaking. Not good. Okay, on the rock. Don't see where to go from here. I, mean, I can go there. Gets me on the rock. Oh, we can climb up here. All right. Get the heck away from the sand. Thank you. Okay, I've got a point there. Oh, there's more than one, it looks like. Great. But where do I go from there? I mean, I could try to go there and maybe be able to climb up, but I'm not sure. Let's just go here. I feel tremors. I think I'm okay here. I think I'm not actually sure. Let's see if I can climb up here. I don't think so. Oh, I can't. All right. You should be doing that. Again. No! Don't. <laughs> Gotta get off the sand. Okay. Don't see anything. It doesn't sound good. Guess we're not going to actually see anybody alive. Okay, now it feels like we're coming to the end of things, but I'm not sure. Oh, that's really not good. It's the engine from the Event Horizon. The Immaculate Machine. I mean, that's pretty cool. The moons loom above us, drawing closer together with every second. Oh, well, that's not good. Is that an android or is that Josie? Oh, Josie. My God. Okay, let's try to grab some oxygen. Okay, let's not get that close over there. Thank you. Activate the Gaia engine. Activate first, second, and third pillar. Oh, I didn't even notice these guys. Fuck, this can't be happening. Listen to me. You can't trust her. Yeah. She isn't, she isn't who you think. And if she is who you think, she doesn't deserve you. They told me to load it into the Invictus. 
fail safe. You know. They said I'd know when to use it. Said I'd know if I should. <laughs> well, it's now, Shane. That's you. I won't be coming along, buddy. <laughs> Save the world, man. And tell your mom to fuck off for me. Um, I kind of need the code to do that, though. Oh, shit, Declan. I'm sorry. I was too late. I'll finish this. This is the end. You can't let your friends die in vain. You have to complete what they have started. I cannot do it alone, Shane. My form, it shifts in the in-between. I will guide you. Be my hands. I'm ready. Yeah, he's supposed to have access to a thing that the failsafe that was going to launch a bunch of stuff in that would stop the uh, filth from spreading, but he didn't actually give me the code. Unless it's here or something. What the heck is this? Okay, probably something we need to use to connect things. The runes, their language. It bends across the dimensions. It rotates and changes meaning. Recreate the sigils. Align the inlays. Light the remaining pillars and charge the waning machine. Its glow will restore the barrier. Okay, the end one looks... Well, it's not exactly the same, is it? I feel like it might be that, but upside down. It's not exactly the same. So if you look at the two that are already there, it's not totally the same. I mean, this one's close. Yeah, not right.
And it's like, parts of it line up, but parts of it don't. Yeah, I kind of feel more like I'm drawing them together, but yeah, whatever. Or Declan. Hurry, Shane. I don't run. I'm counting on you. You must. You must. Tendrils of filth slither along the spine of time. They thrust themselves into the ether, tear at the fabric. Okay, I'm gonna figure out a couple this time. So that one's already set. Nothing there. Don't think that's right. This way. That's it. When it comes to this kind of geometry and stuff, I feel like my brain just doesn't work right. Let's see. Trying to be kind of methodical about it here. I still feel like this is a really bad idea to be doing this. I don't think. I mean, it is making it pull back, but I kind of feel like it's a bad idea. This looks like it's already done. Last one looks fine. This middle one looks alright, and the first one, they all look fine. I 
I can feel it. The energy. It's weakening. There is still hope. The moons must not align. Go, my son. It shines with the brightness of infinite knowledge. Do not fear it. No, your friends, they died to help you. Finish what they started. Uh, oh, oxygen level's getting low. That's yeah, a bit of a problem, taking too much time, I guess. Um, okay, so... Uh, yeah, that one's right, right off the bat. I need more oxygen. If I'm going to have enough time here. That was maybe it. Uh, I'm looking around for oxygen. I don't see any. I guess I took too long. Not sure where that checkpoint's going to be. If it's going to be after the second one or not, I just need to be faster. I'm hoping it's after the second one. So the way my brain works, no, we're all the way back to the beginning. All right. So just have a set amount of time to do everything here. But I kind of know a bit more what I'm doing. I think so. What's up? Oh, no, no, no. Declan! Declan! Fuck, this can't be happening. Shane, listen to me. You can't trust her. She, she isn't, she isn't who you think. And if she is who you think, she doesn't deserve you. They told me to load it into the Invictus. The failsafe, you know. They said I'd know when to use it. Said I'd know if I should. Well, it's now, Shane. It's you. I won't be coming along, buddy. Save the world, man. And tell your mom to fuck off for me. I'm sorry. I was too late. I'll finish this. This is the end. You can't let your friends die in vain. You have to complete what they have started. I cannot do it alone, Shane. My form, it shifts in the in-between. I will guide you. Be my hands. I'm ready. Okay, I'll solve this and we'll top up on oxygen. Not that one.
I don't think. It could be. Yes. Quickly to the next. The moons draw ever nearer. Illuminate the ancient machine while there's still time. Okay, I'm gonna run back for some oxygen, and we'll go to the next one. See if that'll make much difference. Try running up here, although I think that might increase my oxygen use. Hurry, Shane. I'm counting on you. You must. You must. Tendrils of filth slither along the spine of time. They thrust themselves into the ether, tear at the fabric. Okay. I'm seeing a lot of the same ones over and over again. Why do none of these look right? Maybe it's for the wrong part. My brain's all messed up now because I'm kind of looking at both middle or right position. Yeah, my brain is just not working right now for this. I feel like something's just not lined up right. Like that's, I just need to turn this one. That's the far right one. I just need to turn it. But how do I turn it? It's only giving the option of this one here. oxygen again. Yeah, that's that one for the right. Yeah, it's only letting me put it in the center. It's totally breaking my brain. Uh, there we go. Spend way too much time on that one. That's what I need right there. Our 
Okay, kind of figuring out a little bit more. Just one more. Oxygen's pretty low. Let's just try to go for it, though. Do it, Shane. You are the key. Wondrous light. Return for us. This one's Bridge fine. The dimensions. Light and shadow. Repair the drifting, shining, luminous. Do you hear it singing? It sings, Shane. I can feel it. The energy. It's weakening. There is still hope. The moons must not align. Go, my son. It shines with the brightness of infinite knowledge. Do not fear it. No, your friends. I think that was right. I to yeah. help you finish what they started. Okay. Brain is really confused. That's it, isn't it? It's in place. I hope to God this works. My sweet boy. So, so. Jesus! What's happening? Time has come. It was inevitable. We were too late, Shane. The Escape. enemy cannot contain the dreamers any longer. Run! Before it consumes you! Run! On it. Hopefully, they're going the right way. Alright. Hopefully, I don't have to worry about oxygen here either. Because that would be a problem. We charged it! Why didn't it work? What they warned would happen. Was it prophecy? The beings that lived here. They were warning themselves. Other travelers. This galaxy. It was doomed to the void. The awakening is inevitable. Keep crouching. I'm trying to run. Supposed to go. Keep trying to jump. There we go. I didn't see the climb thing popping up anywhere. Hopefully, this is going to be somewhat forgiving. There has to be something we can do. It is too late to restore the machine. We have one last chance. One final result. The Gaia engine is compromised. The sleeper stood. Barrier is mended. Failure is mended. The work we're playing is sacrifice. Mom! Stay with me! To the moons! Oh, uh, crap. Well, that's not good. Um, let's go 
here, I guess. I'm not sure where I need to go. Out, I'm assuming. Ah, I'm gonna stay off the sand. It's hanging me up. The engine can be reborn, but it requires sacrifice. The moons, the dreamers, Bobos and Deimos. We must close the rift, shut the gate. Shane, you are here for a reason. You were marked, sent here, chosen. I don't know what's going on. It's all falling apart. Everything. What, what do I have to do? To the moons. You must go to the moons. There is no other way. Fly to the stars, to where the Cyrano broke the barrier and slipped from the sky. I think that was theirs. I think that one's mine. Oh, show me. Okay. Oxygen's okay for some reason. To the launch pad. The Invictus should be ready to fly. I believe in you. So I guess we're going to Fomos and Daimos. Demos? Demos? Whatever. Well, that's not good. Yeah, I guess I am the last man on Mars. I mean, there's tentacle monsters, but I don't think they count, even if they used to be people. Shane, you can do this. First step, get to the command console. Retrace the path. Complete the ritual. Okay, restore power. All right, just out of curiosity. I was looking for crazy writing. All right, so we've gotten to another checkpoint, so I think this is a good place to stop. We've got a ship here ready to go. I'm gonna head up to Phobos and or Deimos and try to stop things from there. I'm not sure exactly how, but we'll figure it out as we go. But anyway, that'll be it for today. Uh, thank you very much for coming by. Hopefully I will see you all again as we continue finishing up Moons of Madness. Uh, definitely been pretty cool. Um, that is over there. Hopefully just a chair and not a person. But uh, yeah, that's been kind of a cool thing to do. It's sort of my uh, October Halloween-y kind of game. Definitely been pretty good. Uh, I've enjoyed it quite a bit. Of course, I love H.P. Lovecraft stuff, so there's that. All right, thank you very much. Hopefully I will see you all again next time. This has been Moons of Madness, and I've been Disturbing Puppet. Thanks again. Have a good one.